do we pray for Christian unity? Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Part of today's reading is a prayer of our Lord Jesus for unity. And I quote, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through the word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. From John chapter 17, 20 to 21. Some religious writers say that this must be the only prayer by our Lord which has not been answered because of the lack of unity even among Christians. Blessed Maria Gabriela Sagedu is an Italian religious belonging to the Trappist congregation. During the Prayer of Unity Octave of their community, which comprises eight days of prayer, asking God to bring an end to divisions in Christianity. Maria Gabriela asked for and received permission to offer her life for the cause of Christian unity. Almost immediately afterward, she fell ill and was diagnosed with tuberculosis. Her suffering increased dramatically, so did the joy she radiated. A year later, Sister Maria died, having revealed her sacrifice only to a handful of confidants, including her abbess and her spiritual director. At the time of her death, her Trappist sisters discovered that Maria Gabriela's Bible was particularly worn at John 17, which contains Christ's prayer that they may be one in verses 21 and 22. This was published by Amos Long in January of 2018. St. John Paul II referred to Blessed Maria Gabriela in his encyclical Ut Unum Sint, translated on commitment to ecumenism, in which he said, and I quote, Praying for unity is not a matter reserved only to those who actually experience lack of unity among Christians. In the deep personal dialogue which each of us must carry on with the Lord in, in prayer, concern for unity cannot be absent. It was in order to reaffirm this duty that I set before the faithful of the Catholic Church a model which I consider exemplary. The model of a Trappistine sister, Blessed Maria Gabriela of Unity, whom I beatified on 25 January 1983. Sister Maria Gabriela called for called by her vocation to be apart from the world, devoted her life to meditation and prayer, centered on chapter 17 of St. John's Gospel, and offered her life for Christian unity. End of quote. My dear brothers and sisters, just as Jesus prayed that all his followers may be one, just as he and the Father are one, and as modern-day followers of the Lord, we will come into unity if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. Quotation taken from Hebrews 12, verse 2. This is how genuine unity will grow among us, and we will be drawn closer to each other in perfect love and harmony. And so let us pray. In the name of the Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, may we fix our gaze on you, that we may grow in understanding one another and being instruments of unity and love among your people. And we say the same prayer, that we may all be one, just as you and the Father are one. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic Church and couples for Christ.